Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new series of Disney World vlogs. And this trip is gonna be very special because finally I am bringing my mum on a trip with me to Walt Disney World. I've been doing the vlogs now for seven years, I think it is, yeah, seven years now. Um, but I've actually been visiting Disney World for 21 years. So my mum has heard so much about it, seen thousands of photos, all the vlogs, and she's always wanted to go. And finally, everything has come together. She's retired now and we are taking a mum and daughter trip. It's gonna be so special seeing her reactions to everything for the first time, getting to show her everything I love about Disney World so much. And I'm really happy to be vlogging it all and sharing it with you guys. We're gonna be there for the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. It's one of my favorite times of year to be in Disney World and definitely one of my favorite festivals. Tron is new to me as well. I've got a few other new things planned for you. So I hope you guys are excited to see it. I'm leaving today very shortly, actually. I'm just getting ready and putting all of my last minute bits in, including my toiletries, because you know, there's a lot of things you can't put in until the last minute. And and there's something I just wanted to show you guys. I mentioned in a recent vlog that a couple of months ago I started using refillable deodorant to be more sustainable and I started using a brand called Wild. They reached out to me to ask me if I wanted to try their new product and they were sure that you guys would love it as well. And trust me, you definitely will. I absolutely love this. They have collaborated with Disney on the new live action movie coming out, Disney's The Little Mermaid. Now you guys know Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney movie of all time. As a child, I just loved the film I feel like it's so much about the singing in The Little Mermaid and Halle Bailey who plays Ariel in this new live action remake is absolutely incredible and to celebrate the launch of the new movie Wild have come out with this new case I love the colours of it and the design it says Disney The Little Mermaid at the top there it's absolutely beautiful and along with the launch of the case they are launching the Ocean Mist scent and this is another reason I knew you guys would love this because this new fragrance that they're launching along with the case smells exactly like the ocean scene in Soarin' in Epcot. The scene where you're flying over the ocean and the people are in the kayaks, this refill smells exactly like that. So this is perfect, the case and the fragrance to get your daily Disney fix. And they do have other options for cases if you prefer. This is the aqua one and you can get them personalized also. And they're really easy to refill. I'm actually just gonna put this refill in right now so I can take it with me to Florida. So you just take the bottom off, there's little buttons on the side. You just take the outer packaging off the refill and all of the packaging for the refills is completely recyclable. And you just sit it on top there like that and twist it from the bottom. And there you go, it is good to go. It really does smell exactly like Soarin'. I can't describe how exact that smell is. And with the refills, you can just buy them as and when needed, but they also offer a subscription service where you can have them sent to you. You can decide on the frequency. They've got a few different options and you can cancel that at any time or change it, but it just means you don't have to remember to order them. So I'm just gonna pop this in to take with me. I've always preferred stick deodorants and I love this one because it's completely natural as well. There's no harsh chemicals. They do ship worldwide as well. And it's just great to stop all of those plastic deodorants going into landfill. I've been trying to make little changes as much as I can to be more sustainable. Wild have given me a discount code for you guys to get 20% off everything, including the new Little Mermaid case or any of the other products. The code is Disney in detail. I'll put that on the screen. Also, it'll be in the description and the link will be in the description to Wild as well. So I also just need to grab toothbrush, toothpaste, straighteners, I think that's it, and my phone charger. Put all of those things in. Then I'll be heading to the bus station. I'm getting a National Express bus. That's the easiest way from here to Heathrow. It's actually pretty quick and it's direct. And mum has just messaged to say that she is waiting for her coach. And I just can't wait to meet up with her now and start our amazing trip. She is so excited for this, so am I. We're doing some amazing resorts on this trip. I have used my DVC points because I wanted to make the trip so special for mum. So we are staying at the Grand Floridian for a few nights, which I am buzzing for, I just honestly, I can't wait. And the best part is we're staying in one of the new DVC resort rooms. So I've stayed in the DVC building before, which are like the dedicated DVC 
original rooms but they have also converted one of the buildings into dvc resort rooms and we're staying in one of those so we'll be able to show you guys that i just honestly can't wait we're also going to be staying over at animal kingdom lodge for the rest of the trip so give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for this because i definitely am this has been so many years in the making doing a trip with my mum and i just can't wait it's going to be such an incredible experience okay i think i've got everything in i'm doing that last minute thing where i'm just totally panicking have i got everything what have i forgotten you know how it goes i think i'm okay i've got my passport i've got my clothes got my vlogging stuff that's pretty much the essentials so i think i'm just gonna get going and hope for the best at the premiere in here's mum she's in the background hello <laughs> and uh oh have we had <laughs> a somewhat stressful beginning to this trip oh my goodness i was on the coach on the way up like i said mum traveled separately because she was coming from <laughs> the other direction and um i had not realized that potentially it was going to be a problem you still have to upload your covid vaccine pass and mine i had my vaccine obviously when i had a different name i've changed my name recently back to my maiden name and uh i suddenly thought oh my goodness is this going to be a massive issue i'm not going to be able to get on the flight and i was kind of playing it down to to mum wasn't i i was yes. trying <laughs> i was trying because i just so thought to scare me. yeah because obviously we'd be looking forward to this trip for a long time and i was thinking oh my gosh and i was trying to be calm but we went to the desk um over at the virgin atlantic um check-in at terminal three before we came here and they said it's fine i've got documents to prove that my name has changed um i did bring those things with me because i've just been in the process of changing it not everything has changed yet so i always take things with me if i'm traveling just in case and she said that'll be good enough so thank goodness i honestly for a second there i was thinking i'm not going to be able to go we're going to have to reschedule this is a disaster um, and apparently changing your name on the covid vaccine pass is um a question of like going to your gp surgery you can't call up and get someone to do it so just note for everybody make sure your name on your um, nhs app and your covid pass is the same as your passport <laughs> we are now feeling like a weight has been lifted i honestly can't tell you um we're going to go downstairs and have, have dinner. dinner yes we've got the um dinner package booked because we don't fly too early tomorrow so we've got our breakfast booked and um we're gonna have a glass of wine i'm not gonna lie i need one <laughs> now <laughs> mum said the same that was a bit stressful for a second oh. but um it's all good it's all fine we're all good to go tomorrow we're actually checked in for the flight already so um, we just need to do bag drop in the morning so we're back up from our dinner it was really busy down there in the restaurant today we actually went um last weekend me and becky in this exact same hotel and it was really quiet but it was very very busy tonight i guess it's bank holiday isn't it so you've got a bank holiday this weekend so this monday tomorrow is a bank holiday the day we fly and the following week is also what's mum rustling <laughs> Chocolate buttons. <laughs> oh, our chocolate buttons. Um, yeah, the following Monday is also bank holiday, so I guess people are maybe going away, like using that opportunity to uh, take a break. The food was actually really nice. So really nice. I had a pizza. I've had one from here before that was not the best, but this one was actually really nice. Mum had gammon. That gammon was good, steak. wasn't it? With egg. Um, I actually nice. had one of mum's eggs because she didn't want to. <laughs> so I had it on my pizza, which is kind of a weird. Um, I do like an egg on a pizza, which is kind of strange. Um, but that was really good and now it's actually quite late so um then we had pudding we did we had nice. an ice cream sundae as well Lovely. i don't think i vlogged that no i didn't it was good it was very very good um because you can get the meal deal here at the premier inn so you can prepay for dinner and a drink and your breakfast tomorrow and because we're not flying very early we'll have plenty of time to have breakfast in the morning i stopped by the desk as well i just needed them to print something off for me which is to do with the the whole fiasco i had earlier <laughs> worrying about being able the, with the covid pass um i just needed to print off a document that basically proves i have changed my name so they kind did that for me downstairs and um i'm all good to go now that was i feel so much better that was so bad earlier i just when i realized that there could potentially be an issue i was that like on the coach on the way down here i was just thinking how am i gonna tell mum like what i was messaging becky and i was like oh my gosh and becky was like right 
it has there's no problem yet they they haven't said it's an issue so don't panic too much and i was having visions of having to change the trip move it by a couple of weeks i i'd been through every possible scenario um that was not a pleasant start to things but it is fine as long as i can prove my name has changed they've said it's okay so we will see in the morning but i don't feel concerned anymore the woman we spoke to was very convinced she, right, she? she was she was yeah well, backup document yeah so it's all good it's all fine but that was a a very unwanted panic today i could have done without that um, but these things do happen when you travel it was just um it, it's just because i've been in the process of changing my name and there's so many things to change it so you have to change your passport your driving license your bank like a million different things and i hadn't thought about the nhs app like that was one of the furthest things that i would have thought about um and i just didn't think about the the covid pass obviously it is my fault obviously i should have um changed it but i just didn't think but we're gonna head to bed now it's quite late now you never quite know what you're gonna get in heathrow i've had everything from it being really really quiet and you just breeze through to it taking hours and i've only just made it to the gate because it's taken that long and you you can never really know so we'll make sure we get over there in plenty of time but we're very excited aren't we yeah now excited. now we know we can go <laughs> yeah. well mum wouldn't have had a problem you were fine but you didn't really want to go by yourself Not really. so uh yes anyway we're off to bed now and uh we will see you guys in the morning <laughs> mum's just doing her uh rundown of her bag <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, Good morning. We have just been down to breakfast. Um, I didn't vlog that. It was very standard. You've seen that a million times in these vlogs. Um, it was very nice, though. It was very good. It's very quite nice. busy. Yeah, it was busy down there. And so we've just come back up to grab our bags, and now we're going to go and get an Uber across to the airport. With the issue, obviously, that I mentioned, I have got my printed off thing, like I said last night, so we should be good to go. I will keep you updated. Um, you'll soon know if I haven't got on the plane, because I'll be vlogging saying, that's the end of the vlog series, but let's not even uh, think about that. It'll be fine. Mary, we spoke Mary, to. Mary, the lady we spoke to, said it's She fine. said it's fine, so it's fine. <laughs> and um, we're very excited now we just want to kind of get through the security part that's always the bit i just want to get past that get rid of my luggage and then you can just kind of feel excited get a coffee in the departure area and stuff and um what's what are you most looking forward to about the the florida trip Ooh, everything you, everything i've not been before so everything everything's exciting yes, everything's exciting but especially the i think the, the flower in the garden festival and joanne yes, joanne i think mum is most excited about going to joanne which she's I very like into sewing, yeah so. so that's understandable yeah. you're gonna have as long as you want in there i'm also, just gonna go to target <laughs> and um animal kingdom lodge i think yes, as well as. Animal kingdom. yeah I'm looking forward to all of it. Yeah, mum's just excited. She's, <laughs> she's just ready. She is ready for, for all of it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get going now and head across. Usually I get an Uber going from the hotel to the terminal. However, the last couple of times I've gone the other way, so when I get to the terminal coming to the hotel, it's cheaper to get a taxi, so I don't know, but it's I'd have to call a taxi. I don't even really know. We'll just get an Uber. It'll be fine. And for my travel day outfit today, I've just got my classic. This is this is how I travel these days. I always wear leggings. These are from Marks and Spencer. I absolutely love them. I've got my Adidas classics on. This really kind of loose baggy t-shirt which is from Boohoo. And that's it. I like comfort these days when I'm traveling. And I've got my big suitcase today and just my backpack. This is my favorite backpack for travel. You can put my laptop and everything in there and then just a jacket, which I definitely won't need in Florida, but I do need it just for this part of the journey. We've arrived here at Terminal 3 and I think I've told you guys this before but when you're checking in for Orlando this main bit for Virgin Atlantic is not actually for the Orlando flight so I don't know why but actually you need to go just over here so where it says the upper class and Delta 1 and you've got this um, staircase you go over there and that's where check-in is for the Orlando flights it's always that way um, I'm not quite sure why they just have a lot of flights going I think at the same time so we've just checked in well done bag drop I should say and uh, update on the situation with the COVID pass they didn't even ask 
literally didn't get mentioned wasn't an issue so um i kind of spent a couple of hours on the coach absolutely beside myself yesterday for no reason <laughs> which is good to know um but i would definitely recommend yeah it's best to make sure it does match in if you do have a similar situation but it was absolutely fine no problem and we're just about to head through security so we can relax now we can just chill and we're all done with security that was so quick wasn't it like 10 minutes so one of the quicker times going through security here at heathrow as you've seen in previous vlogs it can be an absolute nightmare but it was fine today oh mr bones We've got lots of coronation items here. If you go to any UK airport at the minute, you are going to see lots of things like this. I think it's next Saturday. next week. This well, this coming Saturday, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Here we are for our coffee, and I get this confused every time. Do people say Elan? I always say Elan, but it's E L. It's L and N. I think that's actually how you say it, but I like to call it Elan. That's what I'm doing. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Mum's like, yes, you are wrong. <laughs> Everything in here is pink. They have several of these in London as well. And they do have pop-up ones. I think I saw on Instagram a pop-up one in Manchester at the moment. This is always a very, very pretty display here with the moped. So we've got our seat in EL, L and N, ELA, however you say it. L, Elan, however you say it. Anyway, <laughs> here is my ruby latte. And look, it's got a little, is he a teddy or a panda? I think it's a panda. I think it's a panda. Because his eyes look like panda yeah. eyes, don't they? So this is, yeah, ruby latte. I think it's going to taste pretty much like a regular latte, but it's just got a bit of colouring in, so I don't think it actually tastes sweet, but we will see. Mum's just got a regular latte. So, moment of truth, does the pink ruby latte taste... Right, I'm not going to lie to you guys, so I'm going to give you the real deal. When it said it had beetroot powder in it, I assumed it was just like a tiny bit to make it pink. It does taste like beetroot, which is fine. I love beetroot, but I was just a bit shocked. I didn't think it was going to taste quite, it tastes quite earthy. Yes. So if anyone's wondering if the beetroot taste is beetrooty, yes. the answer is yes. But I, I, I quite like it. I like beetroot, but it's very strange in a coffee. Mm -mm. No, it's not sweet, but it very much tastes like beetroot. And Harrods, of course, have their uh, coronation items. Look at this bear. He is very cute. Oh, he's very fluffy. Look at this little, um, oh, this bag. £45. Pounds. Oh. I actually thought that might have been more. Yeah. And that's a very cute little tote bag as well, that one. It's Love it. So we're just having another sit down in departures. I think we've got about 40 minutes, 30 minutes until the gate number. Uh, yeah, something like that. And I'm all out of sorts with the flight time because we've got a later flight. I'm used to flying in the morning and this is afternoon. So I'm having a little um, snack before I get on because as you guys know, I don't eat the airplane food. So I've got a little mac and cheese here. So I'm just going to have that. Mum's on board with the plane food. So she's going to have that. Um, so I'm just going to eat this and then it'll probably be time to go to the gate. So our gate's actually come up a little bit early. It is gate 17, which says takes 20 minutes. So we're going to set off now. I believe gate 17 is just up here, so it definitely is not a 20 minute walk, just so you guys know. We have one hour 38 minutes left, they've just brought around the cream tea, so there's like sandwiches in here and stuff, and a scone and a jam at the bottom. I was just telling mum the story from the last time when we had turbulence and everybody's gone with like scone or whichever was going all over the place up their nose because you've got turbulence and this is all right we've now got the seatbelt the seatbelt sign is on and we've got turbulence me and mum have both been watching the staircase which is the dramatized version of this so Colin Firth plays Michael Peterson I've seen the Netflix documentary which has been out a few years now and that's actually really good and Colin Firth plays the part so well like I've seen the documentary of the real person and he really does play it like amazingly well I did see this advertised um, but I couldn't get it at home for some reason it was on some platform I didn't have so uh, yeah it's really past the time we've only got an hour and something left now yeah, yeah. yeah only an hour and a bit an hour and 26 minutes left now so that's really past the time
we have arrived and it's very late, it's like 9.30 p.m. This is probably the latest flight I have done in years to Orlando, so this is very, very late for us to be arriving. But we have arrived into the original terminal. I'm actually quite glad that we haven't arrived into the new Terminal C because mum got to experience the monorail and being welcomed by Mayor Buddy Dyer to Orlando. I feel like for your first time in Orlando, that is just essential. Anyone who goes a lot, you know what I'm talking about with that. And um, the flight was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah we both... We watched um, the staircase, didn't we? Yeah. So, Prime program. Mum watched literally like six seven, episodes. six or seven episodes, and then we were here, so it was really good. So now we're going to go. It did, yeah. It was really, really quick. So um, now we're going to go and get an Uber. I think it's just easier. We thought about doing Sunshine Flyer or Mia's, but we're just going to grab an Uber for quickness because it's going to be pretty late by the time we get there. We're just down by the rideshare. <laughs> Mum's <laughs> making noises in the background. We just had an incident. Uh, another one this is most of you are probably thinking this is supposed to be like the best trip ever it's going to be trust me but we've just had a bit of a rocky start i um you guys are not going to be surprised in the slightest left my phone on the monorail i was changing the battery and the camera and i must have set it down as soon as we had stepped through arrivals i was like oh my gosh where's my phone so straight away i noticed um but no one would would let us back through because you know what security is like you can't go back and it was just awful um but then i remembered i could get my laptop out and you find my iPhone and I could see that it was still there so after a lot of difficulties speaking to someone and whatever they did have it so it. but we didn't really need that we've just lost an hour in that process so we're waiting for the uber we didn't mum is just like desperate for a cup of tea at this point and we just want to get to the grand floridian we just want to check in i need a shower i just can't even cope with between yesterday and this is just it, i mean it's a little bit funny now but it was not funny a minute ago but yeah i wouldn't be able to get ubers i wouldn't be able i couldn't call any it's just a nightmare but anyway it's fine it's all good it's there and i will not be letting it out of my sight for the rest of the trip you will be glad to know as mum won't either she, every two minutes now she would be like if you got your phone if you got your phone quite rightly so um so oh we have an uber person coming so thank goodness we can now get to the hotel we have made it <laughs> yeah yeah they've got the carriages and the car and everything out the front here is beautiful so mum's first ever disney resort experience and here we are my beautiful home dvc resort okay we're all checked in mum's got her magic band at the ready she's not wearing it yet but she's got it there and then um, we're just gonna rush to gasparilla grill to grab some milk because they're the only place still open because it is now what time is it now it's like 11 30 or something it's so late um after the phone shenanigans so we're just gonna grab some milk to have in our tea i don't think either of us want to eat anything it's way too late now so we'll probably just uh, drink tea and go to bed show you a nighttime view of the grand floridian as we're walking along so we've just grabbed our milk because it is absolutely essential that we have a cup of tea <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Gasparilla Grill is open. Um, for food it's open I think till 11 but you can grab and go just milk and stuff and drinks and just a few items until midnight. So it opens quite late for a resort um, quick service. A lot of them don't open quite that late. So we've just entered the building. Look at this this is 100 percent my color scheme and aesthetic this is absolutely beautiful and this is the little lobby area they have a dvc desk here but look at the colors oh my gosh and then if you look up through here love this so nice so we <laughs> we've just been We've just been wandering around and ended up up there, but actually, so I was just showing you this lobby. This is our door. We are right here. So, oh my gosh. Right, let's get in. Okay, we are a bit blown away by this. So, this is the bathroom in here. As you can see, you've got this huge mirror. And just to this side, you have this big, hello, round mirror and this beautiful kind of mural, I would call that. Mm. And then this is the room. I love the colors. This is just so nice. So these rooms, as I was saying, I think I've already mentioned, have two beds. So a lot of DVC units have like one and a pull down or one and a pull out couch. These rooms actually have two full beds. Look at these cupboards here as well. Oh my gosh. 
I am a bit blown away by these, I'll be honest. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. But this is amazing. And um, unlike the regular DVC units, they have a very small little kitchen area here. So they have a microwave. They have a coffee machine, which I'm a bit worried about because me and mum have form for having, oh, yeah. is having issues <laughs> with coffee machines. Oh, I will link to one of our previous vlogs when we were in Birmingham in the description. It was hilarious. Yes, we, we never do very well, um, but they do actually have mugs. We were wondering about that. They have real mugs, not paper cups. And then they have your little coffee pods and stuff in there and refrigerator down there. But yeah, this is so, so nice. It really is. Just look at this here as well. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a day. I'm in my lovely bed here now at the Grand Floridian. I have a cup of biscuit brew. I remembered my biscuit brew. We got some milk, so we are having a cup of tea my word what a kind of up and down travel day that was mostly through errors on my part which is not surprising yeah that was not not fun the airport incident you guys kind of missed that which believe me you'll be glad you did the, the panic the where is it the kind of running around i was running around the terminal with my laptop open with the find my iphone dot and i was like it's back there i know it's back there like in the security area um but obviously they can't just let people through it was awful but anyway we that is all behind us we have forgotten it we are here in this absolutely unbelievable room this is beautiful like the rooms at the grand floridian like dvc building like the dedicated building those are amazing as well they have like amazing bathrooms they have tvs in the mirror like those are beautiful rooms but this room i would say the color schemes and that beautiful mural i'm just looking at it now over by um, the door with that huge mirror and then the mary poppins artwork and just like the teal and the pale pink is stunning it so speaks to my absolute favorite kind of decor look i love it i love this the lampshade i'm just looking at as well has got little glass like birds it's so pretty we're here for a few nights and then we're heading across to animal kingdom lodge like i was saying and we can just relax now. I feel like it's been a bit of a bumpy ride. Mum obviously is loving this room, loving the resort. When we walked in, she was just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. But we're both feeling not sleepy tired, actually, considering it's half past midnight here. So it's half past five in the UK in the morning. Um, but we don't actually feel that sleepy. We just feel a little bit drained by the day's events um, and just the general traveling so we're gonna have a nice sleep and then tomorrow we're gonna be going to the magic kingdom and we're just gonna have a relaxed day it's mum's first time oh <laughs> she's we're in the dark this is the thing when you get into a new room it's <laughs> it's figuring out which lights are, are for what once we're done in the magic kingdom we'll probably head over to walmart just to grab some essentials um, just like milk and, and things like that and then we're doing target later in the trip for a proper browse we're not eating anything mum's just having a cereal bar and i've got some i've got like a mini tub of pringles we're gonna have that just as something before yeah everything's closed it's half midnight we've gone past it really wanting to eat and uh, we did eat on the plane. Um, I had a few snacks and stuff. So I'm just gonna have my Pringles and that will be good enough. Mm. And then sleep. It's too late to even be thinking about eating now. I just want my cup of tea and my bed. And I'm so happy to be here. It's just amazing. I can't wait for mum to see the Magic Kingdom mm. tomorrow. I can't wait. Yeah, she can't wait. It's just gonna be amazing. But we just need a good, a good rest mm. and recovery recovery time so we haven't got any firm plans tomorrow we're not going to have genie plus or anything like that tron i may try and get a return time tomorrow morning mum won't do it she said that's too like scary it's too big yeah mum does not like that so she's not going to want to do tron so i will either try and get like an early return return time or I think it works the same way as Guardians, where you can get one at 1pm, so that could be an option. Otherwise, because we're staying here at the Grand Floridian and Animal Kingdom Lodge, we do have two of the late evenings in the parks. And when you go to the Magic Kingdom or Epcot late evening, if you want to ride Tron or Guardians of the Galaxy, you can get a return time at 6. So they have a special like window to get an extra... Um, when I say return time, I mean virtual line. So you get an extra shot at getting in the virtual line at 6 p.m. only if you're there for the extra hours. So I'm going to have plenty of opportunities to ride Tron. So whether or not I do it tomorrow or it ends up being on one of the other days or evenings, 
who knows tomorrow is just going to be about introducing mum to disney just <laughs> introducing her to the disney parks we're gonna wander around look at everything go on the people mover pirates haunted mansion all of those kind of things so thank you guys for watching so far this vlog will roll right into tomorrow morning so there'll just be a little transition and then it will be morning let's see how this goes it is morning and it's the first attempt add water to tank that part's easy or is it oh it's already complicated do you just pour it in there look in the hole do you think it goes through yeah that? i think it just filters it in i'll pour it out of the kettle because we've got a drop in and see if it goes through yeah this cannot be the enough water for two cups of coffee <laughs> it's too early for this half, half a teaspoon what <laughs> but i don't understand it doesn't come off oh my gosh we can hear our neighbors pretty loud yeah so, so it says add water lift the handle and insert the pod push the button but how is that enough water? We've just watched a YouTube video and it does seem that this is the amount of water that you put in. So I guess it's a, a yeah, a one cup tank. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm just gonna run it through without a coffee pod in because it did say you should like flush it out first. So let's go for real and put our 50th anniversary blend in. And they do actually have an English breakfast tea pod in here as well. So I will try that at some point. The only thing is I don't think they replenish these all that often. So obviously if you use that one tea, then that's the only one in here. So from the more basic um, technology of the coffee machine, we're now trying to connect to the uh, TV to hopefully, I don't know if we can maybe like cast things to the TV, that's what I'm hoping. You are connected, that sounds good, it says that on my phone. So you can't see, sorry, it does a funny thing on the screen because of the camera, but it says room 9120 bedroom, that's us. So hopefully my Netflix is going to come up on the TV. It's working, that's really awesome. So I don't know which of the resorts have these smart TVs where you can actually connect it and cast from any apps basically so netflix i guess like prime as well pretty much anything that has the little cast symbol uh youtube videos i think i think you can do that i'll try it out later but yeah there we go we are now ready it was a very leisurely start to the morning mum is park ready as you can see she's got her ears on very exciting for the first ever day in the disney parks for mum we on this trip are going to be just taking it whatever pace we want because this is ultimately a vacation so we're in vacation mode <laughs> uh, with the vlogs i'm often you know doing whatever i'm doing for a specific reason but this is a holiday so we're just going to be taking it as it comes deciding whatever i'm going to be vlogging every day and taking you guys along but it's just going to be whatever pace we feel like today definitely we just want to take in main street get our little coffee i haven't made a return for tron this morning because as i said last night there's going to be plenty of time for that during the extra evening hours so we're going to head out now and go and get the monorail which is another perfect start to a disney day having a little trip on the monorail because yeah. we're right here trip. yes very excited for everything yeah I mean, eat breakfast too, don't we? We're feeling, breakfast, yeah, we're yeah, a bit, we're a bit hungry now. Yeah. yeah. And here we are seeing the Grand Floridian during the day. It is absolutely beautiful. I love this resort so much. And the weather, for those interested, is absolutely perfect. It's been very uh, weird the last week or so, I believe. A lot of rain, there's been some storminess, but today is absolutely beautiful. There's a little tiny bit of a breeze. It's not too hot. It's gonna get up to around 30 at the hottest part of the day, but it is beautiful. I love the first time in a park on your trip. It is always the best time when you've got the whole trip out in front of you. Mum does actually seem slightly lost for words because she's just taking it all in. <laughs> this is amazing. Back in the magic. And we need some fuel to start our day, so uh, let's get in here. So we are in our little spot here by the Plaza restaurant. These tables with the um, yellow and white umbrellas are a perfect place to have your coffee when you're just taking in everything at the hub. So we've got our Starbucks and just to note, so you guys know, I bought my refillable cup, my Epcot um, like thermal mug, and they wouldn't let me use it, this one here. So I asked them in Starbucks if I could put my coffee in here because I'm trying to be more sustainable and not use single-use cups, and they wouldn't let me because of COVID. They said they're not allowed to like take them, so I had to have it in one of these. So just so you guys know, you can't actually use a refillable mug, which is a shame because I try and 
do that where I can, but there you go. We're on the move again. We're gonna go and take some photos near the castle. And I just wanna say hi to Steph and Alan who came over to say hello, and they were lovely. So hi to you guys, and I hope you had an amazing time. And then we're gonna go for a very late breakfast at this point and get the Nutella fruit waffle. We're gonna share it. And then later on, we'll get some to get ourselves something, lunch maybe, but we're, we're all out of sorts with timings today. It's not really breakfast time anymore, but that's what we can have. The confetti cannon went off earlier. There was some kind of, um, I think it was a sporting event. Perhaps someone has had some success at a sporting event and sometimes they then come to Disney and Mickey was over here celebrating with someone. So I assume that's what it was. I'm a bit out of the loop with American sports, I'm afraid, but you can see all the confetti now. <laughs> We just stopped here a second after taking our photos because Festival of Fantasy is about to come by. It's 12 o'clock, so I always used to think it was at 3, but maybe they have one at 12 and 3. But in any case, we're going to get to see it go by. Awesome getting to see the parade and now it is waffle time. We're quite hungry now, aren't we? Definitely ready for something to eat. Yeah. Side view of the castle is always so nice. It's a good spot for a little photo here. Is there no really yeah, there's no um no water in at the moment. Yeah, they're obviously doing a bit of work here, which does somewhat detract from the lovely um the lovely glowy look. <laughs> but the castle is obviously still looking majestic as always. So here we have our fruit and Nutella waffle. This is such a good thing. It's very, very shareable. Maybe you might want one to yourself if it's for breakfast, but yeah, really, really nice. Look at this really cute red bird. He's like a red pink color. Ooh, I'm gonna have my last little mouthful. As you get to the bottom of it, you've got more of the chocolate sort of soaked up in there, so it gets very chocolatey. Mm. So good. I feel like mum had to have at least one of the iconic snacks today and I feel like the um, Nutella fruit waffle has been here for a very long time. When we come back in a couple of days we'll probably get a Dole Whip. Definitely got to get a Dole Whip. And maybe a cinnamon bun from Gaston's Tavern, I think, at some point. We'll have to fit all this in before we go home. So I'm just going to check on the wait times for the rides but I just wanted to let you guys know that Genie Plus is $22 for today. So that's kind of somewhere in the middle. I've seen it as high as 34 I think, 34 99 But we're not going to do that today. And let's look at our wait times here. So we have... 30 minute wait for Little Mermaid. Uh oh, we were going to do Philhar Magic, but is it down? They're having a glitch, yes. Maybe it'll be okay later. So let's see. Haunted Mansion is 35. We definitely want to do People Mover. That's showing us 15. I think we'll probably do something in this general area. So maybe we'll go and do Little Mermaid. What's happening over at Pirates? 45 minutes. I reckon we'll go Little Mermaid first and see if Philhar Magic comes back up. Mum's really keen to do the Liberty Bell um, boat, so we're going to go and do that now. She's taken to the sunglasses because it is quite bright, isn't it? It is very bright. How was your waffle? Good? Yeah. It's such a nice view from here on the Liberty Bell. Looking all the way out over Frontierland. Trying to convince Mum that she will love Big Thunder Mountain. I hear them screaming. No, but they're screaming in a happy way, not in a scared way. It's not scary, I promise. 
Well, that other village off the court has been there a while. Most of the Indians along the river don't quite know what to make of our steamboat. If you ask me, I'd say the ones telling those tales are the ones filled with spirits. If you want proof, just ask them. Hey, uh, Okay, and Small World has a 20 minute wait. I think Mum quite fancies that because it's very iconic. So we're going to go on this now. Be prepared to never get this song out of your head for the rest of the day. Disney Rite of Passage completed and we're just going to check out whether Philharmagic has come back up because it wasn't operating earlier and if it's not we'll probably go over to do Little Mermaid and here we are at Prince Eric's Castle I am so excited for the new live action movie on the 26th of May I'm definitely going to be there and let's see what the wait time is 35 minutes saying as always mum loved it as well it was very cute wasn't it yep very good we're ready for our lunch now so we're heading off to big blue village house we're going to get the chicken caesar salad because i absolutely love that and um, i forgot to mention earlier these ears i'm wearing today i absolutely love these i've got a couple of um, different pairs with these sequins different colors and these were from magic maker ears i will put a link in the description and a discount code for you guys because her ears are amazing so we are here in Pinocchio Village House and one thing I will say, when you see the line, like the line is basically like over here, to order it is so much easier to use mobile order if you can. So if you have a smartphone, if you are able to link your card to it, mobile order, I just did it on the way over here, walked right up to the pickup over here and we had this food within what two minutes or something? So straight away basically. We both went for the chicken Caesar salad. I love this, this is one of my favourite lunches now in the Magic Kingdom. And mum just said her magic band vibrated. I think it might be Cogsworth and Lumiere, so we'll get mum to wave her magic band, see, see what happens. No? Oh, they're, they're not working. They've obviously retired. <laughs> Normally they make a noise. But, and as we walk past Storybook Treats, I'll just show you what the latest speciality cone is because you can normally get different ice cream here. They used to have the Tangled one. They sometimes have the Seven Dwarves cone. Let's see what they have right now. Currently they have a Snow White cone and a Hi Ho Sunday. And Seven Dwarves Mine Train is 70 minutes currently. We are gonna do this on one of the evenings when we come for extra magic hours or extra hours, whatever it's called now. Mum has agreed to this one to see how it is. She's, she wants to do this before Big Thunder Mountain because if that one's too much, then Big Thunder Mountain will be too much. So we'll test the waters with Seven Dwarves Mine Train. And just to let you know what the latest is over here at Cheshire Cafe, they have the Cheshire Cat Tail, which is really nice. It's like a chocolate pastry. They have an all mixed up slushy, who knows what that is and Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat, which is a, looks like a slushy or something with cream on top and an umbrella. They also have a Pepper Jack pretzel. That sounds like it could be good. We're gonna try one of the statues again. I'm wondering whether they're not working because it's no longer the 50th celebration. Well, See what happens. Just wave as if you're waving to it. <laughs> no, it's because no, the 50th celebrations are over. Perhaps they're not making the sounds anymore. Of course, before we leave, we just have to do the people mover. Has to be done. Mum's first ever trip to the Magic Kingdom. You've got to do the people mover. This is the TTA Blue Line. Non-stop <laughs> service around Tomorrowland. <laughs> Greetings, intergalactic travelers. Welcome aboard the People Mover, presented by Enterprise. Tron is now open. I will be doing that in a couple of days for sure. That one will 
will be too much for mum, 100%. She's, she doesn't fancy the look of that. Stuck in the tunnel, the lights have just come on. We're off again. We're fine. My fellow sentient life forms, a people mover journey has nearly come full orbit. Now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow, today. See you in the future. So we're back on Main Street now and we're going to head out of the Magic Kingdom and go on the boat to the Grand Floridian and then get an Uber and go and grab some groceries and things for our room. And we might come back this evening, it depends how we feel, we're just going to see aren't we? Yeah. Tired. Yeah, that's the thing with this trip. We are just doing whatever we feel like whenever we feel like it. Just in the Main Street confectionery, I love this pale pink Rice Krispie treat. And they have a candy apple too. And they also have a candy apple that has Lifesaver gummies on the top. And this 100 celebration one as well. Welcoming today's Armed Forces Honored Representative from the United States Air Force, Sergeant Kendall Zmina, all the way from Knoxville, Tennessee. And just as we're leaving, they're doing the flag ceremony there. But we will be back to the Magic Kingdom either later tonight or in a couple of days' time. And when we come back, we're going to ride on the railroad. We wanted to do that today, but we haven't got around to it. We've got plenty of time the rest of the trip. And because we're off to Walmart and we don't want to look like crazy ladies, Mum made this um, hanger so we can clip both sets of ears on and then you can clip it to your bag strap. So Mum will probably clip it to hers and then you can carry your ears around and you don't have to wear them. Okay. See? Perfect. Ah, we're just sitting here outside the Magic Kingdom. I got myself a slushy. I've got fruit punch and blue raspberry. It's feeling quite thirsty. Not necessarily thirst, but like I needed something cold. And we are just taking in the scenes of the ferry boats, the monorails. It's been lovely. What was your favourite thing today? Oh, small world. So when we're going to come back to the Magic Kingdom though, of course, to do lots of other rides. So that may update as Mum does more rides. We'll see. So here is the resort launch. And actually there's a sign here saying the walkway is closed. So you can't currently take the walkway so I don't know what's going on there I've decided to get the boat back over to the Grand Floridian we did the monorail this morning got to try out all the different transportation options We are back at the Grand Floridian and we are going to go straight to the lobby and get an Uber across to Walmart. If we go back to the room, we decided that would be a bad idea because we won't want to go back out again. If I sit down on a sofa or lay on a bed, it will be game over. And the pianist is playing. And we're back in the room feeling um, like we need a little bit of a break now. And I was just noticing, it looks like I've burned my head. I promise you, it's not burned. I think I might have like scratched it or something. I'm just realizing there's lighting. I'm like, why does my head look bright red? I don't know. Um, but anyway, we have been to Walmart. We were in there quite a long time because mum obviously was wanting to see everything. When you first go to a supermarket in America, if you are from the UK, it is just like a bewildering wilderness of things that we have never seen before. So we had a good old look around and um, I didn't buy too much stuff. I'll show you what I got in a second, but um, we're not gonna go back to Magic Kingdom. It is already, I think it's like nearly 9 p.m. or something. We were in there for ages and we didn't leave the Magic Kingdom until maybe 5.30 or something. So we'll go back another night. We've got an evening in a couple of days time with the extra hours. So there's no need to go back again this evening. The one thing I got was this top. It's just like a little t-shirt type thing. It's got like a little tie bit at the bottom. This is just to wear at home. It's not for me to wear here. It was just a nice little basic top that wasn't very expensive. And we got a double pack of the spray sunscreen. Mum's going to have one and I'm going to have one. And we got the Factor 50. I was looking for 30, but they didn't have it in this size. So we just went for this. I got another thing of my Country Time Lemonade. I just have maybe one glass of it a month. Like I really ration my Country Time Lemonade and um, I've come to the end of my other pack. So I got one of those. I also got some drops to put in my water because if you get water around the parks, um, just like ice water, it can taste a little bit funky sometimes. So these little drops are really good. I got the peach tea ones to try. I haven't had those before. And I got some M&Ms to take home with me because they are my favourite, the peanut butter ones. And I got a bottle of Prime for my friend's son back at home. And I got one for myself as well because I thought I would try it. I've tried one flavour so far that I wasn't very impressed with. I thought I would try another one 
to see if it's just me or to see what the fuss is about so I thought I'd have that at some point while I'm here then I just got this tiny thing of laundry detergent just to do a little bit of washing just by hand if I need to wash a few items um, it's good to have that in the owner's locker then I just got a mini hairspray to take with me to the parks I got a bag of the lime tostitos they've stopped doing lime doritos in the UK I think they've stopped making them I haven't seen them in a supermarket for so long and I love the lime Doritos so when I come here I always have to get a pack of these then I just got a pack of these toothbrush protectors because I did have one somewhere I've lost it and mum needed one as well so we got those I got a thing of Gatorade this is the one I always get the Glacier Freeze I love that then I got a little pack of watermelon I'll probably have some of this in a minute because we haven't eaten since our salad earlier but we don't really want any dinner because we're not that hungry so I thought I'd have some watermelon and that's what I got. So now we're just going to make a cup of tea, sit in bed, just relax, um, maybe watch a little bit more of our documentary we were watching this morning. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this first vlog of the series and it's been such a great day just taking everything in. Mum was just getting her first taste of Disney. A huge thank you to everyone who came up to say hello today. We met loads of you guys. and um, We also met some of you at Walmart as well. So hello to everybody. It's always really nice to meet all of you and have a little chat. Tomorrow we're gonna to be heading to Epcot, which as you know, is my absolute favorite park. Mum is so excited for the Flower and Garden Festival. That's one of the things she's been most excited for. So we're gonna have a really nice day tomorrow. And then in the evening, I'm not really sure where we're eating tomorrow. We've got no reservations. So so we'll just see what happens and see where the day it takes us. So a huge thank you as always to all of you for liking, subscribing, watching the videos, all your lovely comments, both here and over on Instagram and everyone who supports over on Patreon as well. Just a massive thank you to everybody. You guys are the best and your support makes these vlogs happen. So thank you guys so much as always. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. bye. Mum's shouting bye from the bathroom. <laughs>